if you remember, we're going to use the matrix matrix multiplication example, the same implementation we use today. And we're going to use this example to identify defects in the data transfers of our OpenMP or OpenACC codes. What this means is that the, in the implementation code, we have a part of the main section that is allocating double pointed data structure. This means that it is using in this, in this code an auxiliary matrix that first allocates the array of pointers and then makes individual separate allocations of memory for each of the rows. So in the end, we have this double pointer data structure. From the point of view of the computations, they look like plain arrays, similar to Fortran. It, it, it seems that the data is consecutive in memory, but it is actually not. So if we try to use, modify the matrix matrix multiplication example, just by adding this pragma, pragma, OMP, target teams distribute parallel, target teams distribute parallel four to make the data transfer and the parallelization of the computation on the GPU. And we need, we need to specify what to map from the CPU memory to the GPU memory. So here in an intuitive manner, we can think of that mapping pointers A, B and C to the memory of the GPU and back from the memory of the GPU, the result in, the, in pointer C, this should be the, the, the specification and the implementation of OpenMP should be smart enough to navigate through all the data, transfer it to the GPU memory and transfer it back. But again, this, there is a hidden problem of deep copy here. So we, we, you will be seeing in this lab is that by following exactly the same process, you will get the performance optimization report. You will get the entry level report you will get in the list of actions a defect. In this case, defect number six, which we encourage you to go to the knowledge base and see how it is described and explained. And then you compile and execute this code with the defect and you see that the code will break, will fail to execute because it is accessing illegal uh, addresses on the in memory. It's not accessing the correct data on memory. Okay, so, and this is all we wanted to say you have all the data in the same repository than today and yesterday, the same set of files. And you already have the source code and the launch scripts with this implementation. So you just need to go through the usage of Kodi, reproduce the steps in the slides and see how it identifies the defects, compile it, run the code and see that the code breaks. It has an illegal execution. And, and for today's exercises, we actually have um, updated um, example codes. Uh, there are more lab, lab six, lab eight, and Fortran, much more details in the um, NERSC April 2022 example codes. So grab a new, uh, do a new copy. So I'll put the link uh, as the uh, copy command in chat. The new directory, so you get um, updated exercises. I, I renamed the old one to day one. Meanwhile, I think uh, it's a good idea. Maybe Ulysses can do uh, a demo for the defect one. For defect six, I, I think you mean. So first let's see the code, but it's already shown on the slice. Um, so it's the regular man mood, but it has this pragma, this open MP pragma that it has an error in the map um, clause, clausal. Um, so let's analyze it with Cody and see what it reports. The entry level report is always dash dash evaluation, which is the default flag. So if you don't put anything, it will use evaluation anyway. So PW report evaluation. And as default, we have multi-threading and offloading disabled, but we have an, we can enable them. Sorry, oh, okay. For projects that use uh, libraries and include paths that are not the current path, you can use 
uh, dash dash to pass compiler arguments. In this case, we need to pass dash i and include. That is the folder where the include path is. So now, right, now it's successfully analyzed and we have to enable the multi-threading and offloading with uh, include tax all. The, we, can, we have to follow the third suggestion. We can copy paste the command invocation. And now we have two offloading actions uh, two actions related with offloading, we can list them with dash dash actions. And now the tool will tell us to use, uh, to focus the analysis on, on a function or a loop. In this case, we're going to analyze the main function. Sorry, there's no main function. It's Math model. And here we have the defect six for the line 15. Missing deep copies of non contiguous arrays A, B, and C in data transferred to accelerator device. So here, Cody is detecting the, the error located at the pragma. So now we will try to compile it and we will see that we get an error. Okay, let's do it manually. And here we have the error. So it is compiling it correctly, but it has an execution time error. But uh, Manuel, do you want to do you want me to generate the correct pragmas? Um, <clears throat> or here showing the not, PWD6 is fine. I think it's not really needed because that is that was covered in the lab two yesterday. So here in, within we want to point out that QT can detect. OpenMP, OpenACC pragmas that seem to be correct, but for some reason, for some problem hidden, like deep copy, it will make our codes break. So I think it's enough. Helen, do you think also it's enough? Yeah, uh, anyone else have questions? I would suggest uh, do the S-batch to run this, but this, otherwise this one is running on the login node, but um, on, you see the same error on the uh, GPU node as well. So maybe we can use the remaining time before the break to, now that Ulysses is uh, sharing his screen, maybe we can start with the Fortran demo. Yes. And then yeah. we leave okay. right before the break or right yeah. after and the break to present yeah. the relation okay. tree. Yeah. So yesterday we analyzed uh, Pi uh, in a C implementation of Pi using Kodi, and now we're going to do the same, but with a Fortran implementation. So let's uh, see it with, sorry, it's the same C implementation, but with Fortran with this subroutine calculate P. Sequential implementation, simple and so the entry level tool again is PW report evaluation. Uh, 
And like yesterday, two actions, uh, multi threading and offloading disabled, we can enable it with include Axel. Now four actions, one multi threading and one offloading, we will see them using PW report dash dash actions. And we have to focus the analysis on a function. In this case, we say this calculate B. By, sorry. And here we have the three opportunities opportunity for multi threading, uh, CMD vectorization, and offloading. Um, the CMD vectorization opportunity is associated with this remark 11, at least telling us a feedback from the vectorization cost model that Cody has. But now we, are, we will focusing on offloading opportunity. We will um, increase the level of detail of the analysis using the flag dash dash level two, as it is suggested in the first suggestion. And here we can see suggestions made for the opportunity three. We have two Vitalo directives invocations suggested uh, one for OpenMP for offloading and one for OpenACC. We are going to involve both, but we are going to change the last flag. So we generate the, the output in another file, in this case, by OMP off. And we're going to do the same for the OpenACC. And now, uh, as Fortran support is experimental for Cody, for now, we detected a bug and the generated code for OpenMP uh, offloading, but we can easily fix it manually. In this case, Vim by OMP. Basically, we need to change the four uh, the four key that is for the the C the, the program for C and we have to change it with do and we have to delete the schedule static that is failing with NP Fortran compiler and and what now let's see the OpenACC version generated by PW directives in this case it's okay, and we don't have to change anything. Here are the pragmas added by Peter directives of OpenACC for offloading. Okay, and now uh, we can run it. Okay, here it is. So the sequential uh, version executed at three seconds. The OpenMP for offloading at 0 0.17 seconds and the OpenACC version 0 0.14 seconds. And the results are okay. So this is how we analyze a Fortran code, in this case, by using Cody. Uh, Manuel, we wanna add something? Uh, no, no, I think it's pretty clear that the same workflow we have proposed since yesterday for all the codes also works for Fortran, which is what, as a user, uh, we might expect. Helen, would you like to point something or um, repeat something, sure. clarify I, something? Let's say that Fortran support is experimental. As you can see, when you do the PW directives, there's a first line says, Warning, Fortran support is experimental. That's why um, when this is finished, you have to make some changes to the generated code. <laughs> One of them is a parallel four has to change the parallel two. Um, 
The other one is related to possibly a compiler bug that schedule auto um, does, is, was not supported for Fortran, but it was for um, not schedule auto, schedule anything, schedule auto uh, has to be changed to schedule static for, for the um, C code. Um, but um, the same schedule doesn't work for the Fortran compiler. So that's potential compiler bug, but otherwise um, the Fortran support will be upcoming in much more mature in the future releases, I hope. <laughs> because uh, we have lots of Fortran users uh, at NERSC and Oak Ridge. Um, yes, in, <clears throat> indeed. Um, we will also probably, at the end of our slide deck presentation, we will show you very briefly the, the current roadmap we have today so that you can see how we are somehow prioritizing Fortran for this, yeah, but for this, this year. This is very encouraging because um, for, for your development work, because uh, there was lots of dependency for for Fortran, um, Fortran de dependencies that for uh, for your tour development work, <laughs> the the LVM, FLAN stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So there is also a Matmo uh, Fortran code that people can play with it as well. We can also see it in a fast demo in okay. five sure. minutes. And then we can continue with the presentation of the final um, lab, visualization K, and then three hands on until the end. Then the coffee break, any attendee can decide if they want to work and we will be assisting or they prefer to make a break. So Ulysses, please. Yes. So let's see the code. Uh, Matt Wolf Fortran. So it's this routine that is calculating the, the mat matrix multiplication. So calculate Matt Wolf. And we use the entry level tool to make the first report, PW. And now we have um, eight actions, but we want to see again the offloading actions. So we have to enable them with include Excel to offloading opportunities. Let's see them with PW report actions, dash dash actions. Um, Remember that in dash dash actions mode, you had to focus the analysis on, on a specific function or loop. In this case, we said is calculate math move. Yes. And well, here we have three opportunities, sorry, two opportunities, one for multi-threading, one for offloading. And a remark from the vectorization cost model again, the study stating that the sim is not a SIMD opportunity due to strided memory access in the loop body. But again, we will focus on opportunities for offloading. We will increase the level of detail again with dash dash level two. And here we have the PW directive suggestions one for open MP offload and another one for open ACC. We're going to invoke both of them. Push dash O instead of in place. And um, he generated it correctly. And now let's do the same for open ACC. Everything fine. Let me check the script. Yes, I choose the right names. So now let's see the the code generated automatically by PW directives. And here we can see the pragma 
for offloading. This is an OpenMP pragmas, pragma. Uh, remember that we have to change this for for a do, and we had to uh, remove this casual static manually. So See the open ACC version. And here they are, the pragmas for offloading with open ACC. Generated automatically. And again, they are uh, they work fine. So we don't have to change them manually. And now let's run it. Okay, I forgot to make the ch mode plus x. We had to give the execution permission to this the scripts. Okay, here we have the execution time. This, this removes our failing because uh, we didn't have the binaries created before, but it just ignored these first three lines. We have the execution time for the serial version, the execution time for the OpenMP version, and the time for the OpenACC. We can see clearly an improvement. So Manuel, wanna add something? Uh, no, I think it is uh, quite clear. The same workflow again, and and the say and remark that we are really um, interested in providing support for Fortran as soon as possible. So we are working very very actively on that. <laughs> 